Chief's Convenience. If you can't find what you want, let us know and we'll get it. We had to have uh, some very serious discussions, you know, uh, with uh, public health and public safety. And we did consult uh, and speak directly with the uh, uh, council uh, and the executive of council. And uh, given the current situation that we're in, uh, we, we have no alternative but to uh, a return to a state of emergency. So effective uh, this afternoon, uh, a, a decree has been issued that uh, Gunawalga is now back into a state of emergency. What that means in short is that we were moving from a state of recovery. During the state of recovery, our, our goal was to move us to a sense of normalcy, was to continue to reduce measures, was continue to move us on a path uh, where, where we feel confident that we, we could uh, basically end our mandate. But the uh, recent developments with the Omicron virus uh, variant and the way it has been spreading uh, around us uh, and in, within the community, uh, there's many factors we have to weigh and, and, and decisions that have to, be, have to be done. And that no longer constitutes recovery, it constitutes um, response. And so in order to properly respond and, and, and deal with the, the emergency, uh, a state of emergency had to be declared once again to uh, ensure that there's clear lines of authority and, and that uh, any gray zones you know, that, uh, that are exist are, 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 uh, are addressed accordingly. The, 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 yeah, the situation in the community has changed drastically over the past 24 to 48 hours. Matter of fact, in, in the past uh, 12 hours, we had more cases identified, which were at about 20 as we speak, uh, in, in the past uh, 12 hours or so, uh, and that's more than we've seen uh, throughout the entire pandemic. So uh, that into, in, into itself is, is very alarming. And, and further to that, we are we do have several clusters and outbreaks that we that we're addressing, uh, public health is addressing uh, as we speak. And, and the systems uh, are basically being uh, overtaxed, overdrawn, and, and um, very difficult to, 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 main, to be maintained. Where the issues are is where people gather, you know. Uh, so uh, we did make decisions that uh, uh, certain things uh, should close uh, for a period of, of, of two weeks, which will then will be reassessed. Other things will be 30 days, but uh, effective on uh, December 24th, uh, restaurants uh, will, will close. We only we take out uh, and delivery only for those who wish. If all the hospitals, you know, are overwhelmed with COVID patients, you know, in and Gunawaga and outside of Gunawaga, where, where people need treatment for heart or kidney or diabetes uh, or cancer treatments, and, and the systems can't cope, and those people gotta wait, and and and, and that could be secondary um, death or secondary illness because of, of the hospital beds are full of COVID patients. So we have to be mindful of that. And be mindful, again, obviously our own systems in, time, in terms of Gunawaga are stretched beyond their max at this point. Right now, in Gunawaga, as we speak right now, and the numbers change on, on, on a regular basis, we're still at about 80% uh, of, of new cases are unvaccinated, 20% uh, vaccinated. But data coming up all across Quebec and Ontario and, and such are showing um, significantly higher. 50 50 you know, we're roughly, uh, even more so in some studies. With the new variant, it's shown that the efficacy of the vaccine is not as good as it was against Delta and other variants. And But on a positive side of that, uh, it, it's still showing that it, it, you may still get infected, but it still uh, minimizes the chance of somebody getting severely ill or, 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 or dying from it. Now, you can never say never, unfortunately, but it does drastically reduce those odds if, if, if you are vaccinated. We want to roll out the vaccination and, and booster as, as quickly as possible. But on, on, on the other hand, there it's the same staff. You know, there's only so many nurses we have. And there's only so much time we have in, 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 in a day, and, and uh, so uh, and they're working long hours for 20 months now. You know, and so they, people also need a break to be, to be able to recharge, and so they, they can carry on for 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 the long haul. So, they, so we need time for them to also have some downtime. So. It's, it's, it's one of those situations where you know, everybody needs somewhat of a break. Uh, and, uh, but, I mean, we will continue you know, rolling things up as effectively as possible.